YouTube. This is my buddy Ben Hobson. We check in with him time to time. He has driven 240SXs in my series in Florida at home in Formula D. He drives an R33 Skyline over in Japan with me. He's been around the block. Uh, he's a seasoned, seasoned driver, super good. And what I want to show you is his new Drift Week car. Uh, boom! Tell me what it is real quick. 2022 Mustang GT, base model. Oh, it's you got... couldn't spring for the more expensive Well, no, because you have to get rid of the, because I'm running 18s up front, you got to get rid of the big Brembos, or you got to uh... shave them down, and you got to get rid of the Magna rod to do the coilover swap. So all I right. don't want to do all that, so. We're getting ahead of yeah. ourselves. I'm interrupting yeah. him. All right, keep telling me about the all car real quick. Um, it's, it's a 2022 GT 2022 Mustang. GT, I bought it off the lot, five miles on it from our, our lot. We mm -hmm. have a dealership in, in, uh, in Georgia. Vaughn hooked it up and sent me a um, fun haver kit. Obviously, I paid for it. He didn't send it to me for free, so it is a very good kit. I love it. Uh, Odie built me coilovers for it. It's got 441.5, so it's uh, single way front, two way rear coilovers, so I can kind of dial in grip for it because it's still it's a daily. It's my daily. I drive it on the street. Mm -hmm. um, it's got Scotty D handbrake uh, front and rear bash bar with jacking points on it. Um, uh, everything else, bone stock, literally. It's all stock arms in the rear, um, stock seats, stock belts, stock steering wheels, Bluetooth radio. The last two drift weeks, I did it in a 2000 Corvette, mm -hmm. and I didn't have a window. I took my window out when I got to the event because it wouldn't roll down. Um, I had no radio, no AC, nothing. This thing cruise control, I was cruising. I did an 11 and a half hour drive in this thing yesterday, and it was just like, I was just chilling the whole time. Cruise control, just chilling, so it is the Best possible drift week car I've ever had, and I love the car. It's amazing. It's good. So it's got tune on it, exhaust, and intake, and that's it. Fucking rad. Yeah. All right, Ben, you've been to how many drift weeks? Uh, this is my third drift week. He's on his third drift week. Tons of drivers go and they build old shitty cars. Some build slightly less old shitty cars. There's dudes that drive 350Zs, there's dudes that drive you know, S13s, there's guys that drive Skylines, there's guys that drive turbo motors, NA motors. Is this the best thing since sliced bread? This is the best thing since sliced Why? bread, man. Why? So should people in 2022, when a 240SX is now $20,000 for some stupid 240SX, mm -hmm. should they still pay those overinflated prices, such as like, well, how much is a JZX100? Oh, man. 25 yeah, grand? More than should I'm they just buy this? Yeah, I mean, this is way better. $36,000 brand new. This is American. That sticker sounds really price. expensive to people, but you That's could price you could something. finance that for 9,900 months. Yeah, and it's, I got 1.9% 1. 1. interest rate on it, oh so my God. I've got good interest rate as well. So real quickly, <laughs> he's built thing. a lot of cars. Yes. So you've had like SR cars and all these things. Yes. Is it really SR, that much expensive? Sorry, it's been, <laughs> is it really that much more expensive to have this than some of those S chassis that you built? Because no. you've had some crazy S chassis. No, this is this is the. I mean, that's not the cheapest car because it's still it's heavy, so mm -hmm. it goes through tires more, but. Uh, this car is, it's great. It's, I have no complaint about it at all. And is this only a drift week car? No, it's my daily. I just drive it on the street. Did you, but I mean, do you take it to other events? Yeah. Yeah, I've gone to um, a bunch of local events with it. I've gone up to Virginia to Shenandoah Speedway with it. I've gone, I've gone all over the place with it already. Why did you buy this car? Was it because of drift week? It like influenced you or something? Is it because I yelled at you long enough to buy a stupid effing uh, Mustang? No, Why did you buy it? Um, I'm, I'm want to move into the Mustang chassis like I spoke about last drift week, mm -hmm. and uh, this we we own a Ford dealership, and this represents I'm able to represent my my family's business through this because mm -hmm. it says it down the door, and it's actually a it's a Ford, so I can I can do it and not be in a Chevrolet, a Corvette, but um, I see the also, fault in this video. It's I'm telling people like, yo, kids, you guys should get your dad who owns a Ford dealership to sell you a Mustang at cost. Yes. I see the flaw in my plans. Yeah. So you have to think about that and get around that issue. Should a normal drifter now in 2022 I mean, I, buy this? Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, it's no, I have no, I still pay, you know, I didn't pay, you know, over sticker for it. I, I don't I don't get any good deals, you know what I mean? I still get like- They didn't hook uh, you up? I mean, they do, but it's not That's like- embarrassing. No, they do, but it's not like, you, it's not like, $10,000 difference. You're not going to go buy the same car for 10000 over what I paid for it. Yeah. So it's nothing nothing crazy like that. But yes, 100% you should go buy one. Okay. You should buy it and off. Explain to me real quickly like what it's like to drive one of these. Because I've always heard the electronic power steering is terrible. And I had one and it mm -hmm. was terrible. Um, you hear like Mustangs are too heavy or they handle poorly or all these different things. What are the key things that you've changed? Like, teach me, because I might go buy one and you're trying to influence me on this. So, what exact modifications? Because I even see you have a stock seat. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, Drift Week has the best sponsors such as BC Racing Custom Coilovers, Vape Tasia, Heatwave Visual, NK Wheels, WhatMonstersDo.com. Use the discount code EBISU. And of course, ECU Master for building the James Dean car and coming on this trip with us. Thank you, everyone. Chelsea designed the angle kit, the new Fun Haver kit. It is a, it takes the dual pivot front steering system and mm -hmm. changes it back to a single style McPherson, like a McPherson style um, knuckle and everything up there. So the suspension is, it is, a, the electric power steering is a little bit to get used to, but I, I learned in a, an electric power steering car. I taught myself in an automatic Mustang GT whenever I was 18. So I had electric power steering and no clutch. So it's not bad. I put it on comfort because it has the most actual assist. Mm -hmm. And what I've heard is there's an actual, you can send it and get it tuned. The That's ECU always app. been a rumor and no one's ever been able to do it except I'm, like one person. Yeah, I've never, I haven't heard anything of it. I just, I read it in a forum, yeah. but. You'll never find I'm, that tune. I'm, I'm fine with how it is. It drives fine. I'd, it self steers. It has a lot of caster, and uh -huh. the car. It's great. So, okay. you put you put the fun haver kit on it, some coilovers on it, and so is this better than your last uh, Corvette? Yeah, it's not. better than your Corvette in every every aspect, in my opinion, in serviceability, drivability, um, like every like thing about it. It's easier. You don't have to worry about torque tubes, and if something happens to the clutch, you can drop a transmission and all that jazz. I just. I had so many issues with that Corvette's rear end mm -hmm. because of how the C5s are. They're not braced right. They don't have the nice bracing on the diff. So this car, it's great. I drive it here. I have no, it's no fault in my mind of, oh, will it make it? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's great. I, yes, it's way better than my Corvette. Okay. Street um, driving it and on the track in my opinion. How about better than like a 240SX? There's a lot of similarities, but it's it's still so heavy that I can't tell you that it's better. Because I mean, I, on transitions, I just give it a big old clutch kick and, and let it transition like I would on a Corvette or, a, or an S chassis. But it's a uh, the steering's a lot easier than an S chassis because it's the front rack. You're not you know that's that aspect. I feel like the steering's light mm -hmm. and it's easy to do inputs on the steering. You throw a big angle and just barely turn in and it does it. So the weight on it is great. The the distribution from the factory is great. The wheelbase is great. It's a 107 inch wheelbase. Like an E46 is 107.7. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit shorter than an E46 and it's the cars, their cars, I have no complaint about it at all. It's nuts thinking about too, like you're in stock seats, like you're literally in a stock feeling mm -hmm. car that you can clutch kick and get around the track that just has suspension stuff. You always heard about that kind of stuff like say you'd watch some Japanese initial D thing or like you'd talk to like autocross nerds or whatever, 240SX owners in America never really, I mean, you could do a KA swap, but all the cars even 15 years ago were such pieces of junk yeah. that like we were doing motor swaps, we were doing interior swaps, like yep, seats, everything, everything else. Because like stuck. an S13 seat was so bad, you would just roll around oh, in it. Oh, they're flat, you know what I mean? It they're really both. is like you're just dialing in the suspension and little 100%. things. Do you have a tune to get rid of the throttle lag? Uh, it is tuned, but I just, I, I work the clutch. I don't let it like I don't okay. let it lie down. But no, there's no like pedal tuning on it. It is it is you know you do have the lagginess from the, the stuff from that, but it's not it doesn't mess with me. Because I'm always looking at like the future of drifting and stuff, and say mm -hmm. in 2023, I mean a JZX might go more expensive, 240s yeah. might go expensive, FDRX7s are mental, even Corollas are crazy. Yeah. Everything's crazy. This is like the last thing we can do almost besides maybe the 400Zs, the GR86s, yeah. and the new Supras. Which do you think is better out of all those? The I, Mustang, the GR86, the Supra? I would not definitely not say a, out, like a stock GR86 is going to be outperform the Mustang, just in my opinion. I haven't driven the new 400. I've driven a 370, but it's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I haven't driven the other car, so I couldn't honestly give a honest feedback okay. on that. Well, we do have options still temporarily, because I know that this is the next Mustang, the, what's it called? The, the S5650? They said that's gonna be the last gas one. Okay. And they said it was gonna be untunable. <laughs> and then the GR86, um, they're kind of low horsepower. I don't know how much everybody's gonna love them. Yeah. And then, but I mean, could be really nice for tire and wear and stuff. Super thing, the manual transmission. Yeah, though. I know, and those look pretty neat, and they're small, yeah. except they're not much lighter. How much does this thing weigh? Honestly, I don't even know. I don't even, I even look from the fact, I don't, probably okay. I'd say 30, 400, somewhere in there. But what I'm trying to get at for you guys, the audience is, is he's had all these different cars, the Skyline, the 240SX, the Corvette, He's had tons of stuff. The G35. The G oh, you had a G35? I, have, I still have it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he has all this stuff, and like this is where he 
chooses to put his money now. Yep. Um, it's very interesting to me. And if you go look at Aaron Spiegel, Aaron Spiegel has had every car into the sun, and we'll look yeah. at this in another video. He now drives a supercharged Mustang here and likes it. Um, there's a bunch of people with really yeah. cool setups. So I just um, put the hydro in it. I was drifting it with a stock handbrake for this whole time, and it, wow. the stock handbrake works just fine. It's just weird having to hold the button in because there's no drift buttons for these cars. Yeah. I tried to put it, make a Nissan and work, but it didn't work. Oh, interesting. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Just hold it. I, We'd taped them down in cars before and stuff. I, I should have. It's, it had like 1,500 miles at that point, so I didn't want tape all over the, all over the.